Steph's ain't no square dance. That's all right, I dance in circles, probably around you. <laughs> She comes from a very like sheltered background in the suburbs. Her mother dies, and she has to go and move into the inner city of Chicago to live with her father. And her world is just like turned upside down. It's interesting to see her grow because she comes from a place of ballet, really strict and and sort of rigid. And she is more comfortable with her sexuality because so much of hip hop is like learning to move your hips. Like I grew up on those dance movies. I think if like Dirty Dancing is hot, and the best part about Dirty Dancing is the chemistry between Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey. It's like very sexually charged. And Sean and I are so close in the movie that it's like it's equally as you know sexual which would be nice lesson one all right now see now hip-hop like it's more than just like a dance you know it's more like like, like an attitude you know so you gotta loosen up so you can feel them all and just let them like flow through you you know so you can feel it he's really just a regular guy you know um a guy who has like big dreams big expectations you know a straight a student all-american boy in high school or just trying to you know make a better life for himself and his family there's only one world chanel that is what they teach you. We know different. I play Chanel, this really funny, loving, energetic, honest, wonderful young woman who's completely stylish and really a good friend. I don't do all the technical stuff that Julia Stiles does, but I do get my groove on, absolutely. Oh, she's so, such an amazing person. Carrie is like, first of all, she's really spiritual, so when you're around her, you just feel like, Ah, everything's good, you know. She's, she's just really smart and has a lot of integrity and that made me trust her a lot so we could get along on screen really well too. She's the best, yeah, she's great. She's fantastic. She's just a lot of fun and just like really polished and just on fire, definitely. You know what, Derek and I like each other and if you have a problem with that, screw you. The best thing about their relationship is that Derek tells her that if she wants something, she's gotta make it happen, if she wants to get into Juilliard, she's gonna have to work really hard and, and audition again. It's more about like taking control of your life. I think what Derek brings to Sarah's life is just a sense of that raw determination that he has and that he has to have to get out of his neighborhood and get out of his situation that she didn't really have to have. And I think he gives her a sense of what it takes to like really push yourself to get what you want. What uh, she gives him is a sense of there being other types of people out there in the world, a sense of like really forcing yourself to open your mind to different types of people and, and that type of thing. The film is a fabulous love story, but it's so filled with issues that are really, that are really complicated. It's really about the lives of young people today in America. It's fabulous.